وحي وساعدي لبكري بكري تلفوني أنا قد نسنا يا رمير خلا ينجسل لأن إذا استعملنا Ten years ago, Khadija Mohammed installed the solar panels to light her home in the evening and help her children do their homework. Off-grid solar solutions are very important in African countries in enhancing sustainable development goal 7. The technology is anticipated to be the least expensive option for 41% of new households between the year 2020 and 2030. My name is Khadija Mohammed. I have children. I have used solar for 10 years now. It has helped me charge my phone and my children do their homework. We are pastoralists and these solar panels, we move with them to provide security for us and the livestock. I don't have money to help me being connected with the national grid. Bularama Primary School head teacher Mohamed Bashir says use of solar energy is an alternative source of energy for the school to run its activities. I came to this school January 2024. But this school was operating with solar system from 20, 2018 until late 2019 when it was blown off by wind and the solar panels were brought down. And up to now, it has not been refixed again. And the, even the batteries are flat. And we had a lot of advantages in the use of the solar. Because one, the security of the school. Because there was light system in the school, so the security of the school was very... And the watchman had less time because there is light. The other thing is that the children were coming early and the, we had a preps with them and in the evening up to from 6 to 7.30 because more than that there's security issues so we cannot keep the children at school. So we could request the government through the Ministry of Energy for them to fix for us the solar system and more so we also request for the installation of the national grid because I think in the town it's about two kilometers, I think one and a half kilometer from where the trees of the Kenya power lighting are. So we request if the school will be installed with the national grid. Mujadin Osman, a grade 7, this school says the solar energy at home helps him to do his homework and also extend his studies at night. Zaman, I took a lot of homework. 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 I Delight Solar Supply Officer in Garissa Town, Asan Hali, says through their agent, they have been able to sell up to 10,000 solar panels for the last seven years. Kwa solar, tuna kwanga na nini solar tafauti. Tuko na Delight, ya ka nini tuna panya ka nini kazi ya walipo ya pole pole kuna muzianga kostuma wa interior wale wa mahali ambaye steamer bado jafika na any person who interest for pack up kama steamer ikipotea huko interior kuna waka na agents sisi tuna supply huko agents wana uzia nini kostuma wa wale wa kwa interior wa malipo wa pole pole Especially, we do support on uh, schools and uh, we have some months to assist the, the orphans who they, they don't uh, have a ability to buy a, a, a solar. Uh, our solar it has a system of Rafanyanka installation and it does not have any effect. Sana kama ni kuchomeka kwa wako, hizi choma mutu, 
Yeah, yeah. Nah, it doesn't need uh, any wiring system. Emergency wana fanya installation juu aina effect ya kuchoma na nini na hiyo mazini na nini mashock za electricity but uh, roughly in a month we do a uh, hundred plus cells as a solar but sometimes in uh, in Africa our 50 but in there our target is 200 and above and sometimes we meet and sometimes it happens uh, in other chini according to the nini the movement of the market the biggest challenge we get in uh, the interior area sometimes it is a uh, limit access of network so the place of Mahalambaya in a network not paying a lot of uh, follow-up to customer to be is long but uh, but all of thing we, we make we sometimes we make sometimes we get that challenge for payment Global and gas oil network Joa Bokanda says solar energy is rapidly sprouting in Africa in Kenya with innovation from the solar power plants, providing clean energy to households, schools and hospitals. The Kenyan government is targeting manufacturing of solar panels to reduce the cost of importation and creating jobs. Africa Regional Campaign Fossil Fuel non proliferation Treaty Initiative, Prince Papa says, for decades of fossil fuel extraction in Africa have not only failed to power and enrich the continent, but also failed to break the vicious cycles of death injustice. But decades of fossil fuel extraction has dominated the energy landscape across the continent. The extractive industry, however, has not only failed to deliver the promised benefits of development and prosperity, but has also entrenched a cycle of underdevelopment and exacerbated the burden of debt on African nations. Instead of bringing wealth, prosperity and progress, the relentless exploitation of fossil fuels, that is oil, gas and coal, has left many communities across Africa in extreme desolation, in extreme poverty and in extreme environmental degradation. Of great importance to note is that Africa is blessed with an abundance of renewable energy potential and the continent holds almost 40% of the global renewable energy share and boasts of over 60% share of world's best solar resources. Yet uh, despite this incredible promise, the continent receives a meager 2% international investment in the energy sector. This stark disparity underscores a global inequity that continues to stifle Africa's development, trapping it in dependency on fossil fuels, while the rest of the world accelerates towards cleaner, more sustainable energy solutions. Secondly, transitioning equitably to renewable energy is not just an environmental necessity, but a moral imperative. By embracing this transition, we can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, helping to limit global temperature rise to less than 1.5 degrees Celsius in line with the Paris Agreement. Achieving this goal is critical for averting catastrophic climate impacts that disproportionately affect the African continent, threatening our livelihoods, health, and the future of millions and millions of people. Lastly, the time for change is now, and Africa must break free from the chains of fossil fuel dependency and lead the charge towards a sustainable, equitable, and prosperous, prosperous future powered by renewable energy. We have the resources, we do have the knowledge, and we do have the drive. The only thing we need is the commitment and investment to make this vision a reality. Prince adds the abundance of renewable energy potential, almost 40% of the global share and 6% of the world-based solar resources. Africa only receives a paltry of 2% of international investments in renewable energy. With the renewable energy resources, the 2022 energy progress reports indicates the continent is the least electrified with close to 600 million people without the power connectivity. During the African Climate Summit, 
in Nairobi, UN Secretary General Antoine Gouret said. Together, African countries with developed countries, financial institutions and technological companies to create a true African Renewable Energy Alliance with adequate access to financial resources at reasonable cost and technological support Renewables could dramatically boost economies, grow new industries, create jobs and drive development, including by reaching the over 600 million Africans living without access to power. Time is high to unite African countries with their developed ones, financial institutions and technology companies for creation of true African renewable energy. At the African Climate Summit in Nairobi last year, President William Ruto called for African countries to invest in green opportunities and renewable energy, increasing industrial, green industrialization to accelerate decarbonization and sustainable fuel development. Energy potential as well, and the natural assets and resources to green our own consumption, but also to meaningfully contribute to decarbonization of the global economy. Bularama Primary School in Korakora, Garissa County uses solar energy to run its daily activities. Solar has been identified as the main source of energy in this region since electricity is yet to be connected. Reporting for Capital FM, I'm Rosemary Ronchari.